Hey guys, doing a quick update today. I may go ahead and end up adding some stuff on to the end of this video. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that I am still plugging away. It's just sort of slow with everything going on right now. Um, you know, we were, we were gone for a week and we're back and so today I'm going to be putting this stuff back in my closet, but before I did, I wanted to just go through and kind of explain what I did. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought these. They come in a five pack. Yes, a five pack. They're the Totally Tiffany brand. And I feel like for five of these, well, yeah, Totally Tiffany and whatever the scrap rack is. I felt like the deal on these was pretty good. Especially because I think I used a coupon or I went in when organizing stuff was half off. Uh, I did not get the dividers because I felt like the dividers, because they were plastic or acrylic, was just more expensive, to, in my opinion, for what you were getting. So I went through and figured out how I wanted to break my paper down. I did keep my, my Mind's Eye hoard in these two plastic ones that I've had forever. I just didn't, I really didn't feel like moving them, and it just works for my brain, so, and I am a big proponent of kind of doing what works for you regardless of, um, maybe how it looks or how other people do things. Okay, come on. Okay, so basically what I did was I just typed up the name of the manufacturer on my computer and just printed it out on some cardstock, and then I used some score tape to attach it. Um, so... You guys can kind of see how I have it sorted, and then I'll explain simple stories here in a minute. So I did kind of put things together that make sense in my brain as far as manufacturers. So to me, October Afternoon and Cartabella go together because they do have a similar designer and a similar feel. Um, Bella Boulevard and Fancy Pants ended up together just because of the amount of paper that I had. Doodlebug and Lawn Fawn are kind of similar in my mind as far as cutesy kind of kid type designs. Echo Park Photo Play owned by the same people, so typically the same type of feel with those as well. And then Simple Stories, you guys know, is like crack to me. So I broke it down into things that make sense to me. And then, and this is pretty much going to be the order that it goes in my closet. And pretty much this is like the order that I would go looking through my paper. Like I almost always go to Simple Stories first. And I almost always am looking for the basic papers, the snap papers, and like the more tone-on-tone -tone, um, stuff like that. And then I threw in, I just wrote daily themes. So basically that's going to be like daily grind. Um, something 24-7. I can't think of the name of it. I have a lot of old stuff because I like it. It's pretty, okay? Um, then I went and I just, I didn't list like individual collections, just what I think of when I think of those collections. So like home, kids, birthday, and then pads. So some of these pads that I have picked up at Hobby Lobby over the years that kind of have a little bit of mix. Um, some of these home ones are more just generic family type collections. Um, kids is more like the little boy awesome, I think is the name of it, uh, the little girl princess line, oh, I can't think of the name of the, the other boy one, little dude, something like that, that type of stuff. Then this one is more like holiday and season, so I just did spring, summer, travel, fall, Christmas, winter. Um, I need to go ahead and probably add a Halloween one in here because I know I have one of their ha their Halloween lines. It's just not in here, so I must have it pulled out for something else right now. So when I find it, I do need to kind of go ahead and add another one. And then while I was going through my papers, I did make a couple extra ones because I was finding things that I had bought with specific projects in mind. So I have one of these smaller plastic ones that I did for trips. So things that I bought specifically for the zoo trip that we took, Legoland, Disneyland, that type of thing, I'm putting in there. Um, I have one for Doodlebug cardstock. This is what my local store carries. So when I do class kits for them, I use that cardstock. It cuts really good on the silhouette. So I wanted a place to be able to keep my scraps and the different colors and stuff. And then I have one for 
month in review. So calendar type pages, things that I set aside that I want to use for month in review style layouts, and I'll post a couple videos of what I'm talking about as far as those layouts down in the description box. Pretty much I just do like a monthly layout with all the random photos. Um, these two I need to label. So this one is school. I do like to keep school stuff separate. And then I have a little thing of patriotic stuff that I do like to keep separate, mostly just because we have a big like block party that we do every year for 4th of July. And I feel like that's one of those things that I'm constantly like trying to figure out where I put in my room. So again, I'm organizing based on, I guess, how I would go looking for things. And so right now, this is what makes sense to me. And I, I know I have more paper than this, but a lot of it is stuff that I'm probably going to get rid of. Yes, this is a lot of paper, but I honestly thought it was going to be a lot more. So today I'm going to work on putting this in the closet and getting some other stuff cleaned up in the closet. And I will come back and update you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Nicole and I am coming up here today to kind of continue working on stuff today. I do have st some stuff filmed that um, I need to kind of finish up some other aspects of it as far as just kind of so the videos make more sense. Um, an example being I went through and did my pattern paper and like label it and everything so that is going to be in another video. But today I'm just going to focus on doing like a general cleanup in here. I um, notice that I'm more motivated to kind of continue to empty the closet and the bins and stuff if I come up here and just do something even if it's just like dusting or vacuuming and wiping. So um, today I'm going to be working on some labels for my drawers, labels for some of my shelves, so I'm going to be working on those. And then kind of focusing on things like this that's down there. I've got some stuff down there. I'm down to just this little bit of stuff left out on this table. This has just kind of been in the middle of my room since Thanksgiving, maybe. And I've just been piling stuff on there that I need to figure out. I mean, the closet is still obviously a work in progress. I'm still kind of working on some pattern paper and stuff like that. Um, so I brought up... Um, trash bag, spray, duster, my vacuum's out in the hallway. So today I'm just kind of focusing on small things, but they're small things that will help me continue to move forward. Um, so by labeling like these, I kind of feel like once it has a label, then my brain knows that, you know, whatever I label this, only, only that set thing goes in here and it has a home and I know where it is. Some of them I I just know, like I've always kept punches in here, they're they're just always there. I'm still going to go ahead and label that because I feel like it's almost kind of like checking a box. Once I've labeled it, I can kind of move on to something else. So I made labels um, in Word, so I'm going to go ahead and print those out, cut them out. And I'm probably going to start with the ones that aren't changing, so like my punches aren't going to change, my 6x6 six six pads aren't going to change. I'm going to start with that stuff and then kind of look and see what's going on. This stuff is going to, I think I've settled on a plan of having this kind of be my, almost like my workflow or like work in progress. So like if I am doing an online challenge where we're working through a class or working through some sketches and I've already paired sketches and photos, I can have it here ready to go. I'm probably going to go ahead and move my UFOs up here, things that need to be finished, um, things for my next class, like that kind of stuff. I just want to have it here to where when I come up here and I'm like, you know what, I have deadlines or challenges that I'm participating in and I need to do something. I can come here and pull something that I've, o I've already kind of pre-prepped or pre-decided on. So I think, like I said, yeah, I think that's my plan for today is to just tackle kind of some of this like smaller stuff, find homes for some stuff and just kind of put on a TV show and get going. And then, like I said, once I get that stuff done and I put all this like little stuff away, I can go ahead and wipe everything down, give it a good dusting. I've been kind of doing that like every other month. It doesn't get too bad up here, mostly if the cat ends up in here and lays down and then I'll do a quick, um, vacuum and stuff and hopefully be able to get this table out of here today. So 
I'm gonna take you along today and see how far I get.
update. So as you guys saw, I did get everything cleaned up, wiped down, so that feels good. This stuff I'm keeping out because I just kind of work on it when I'm wanting to be up here but not wanting to scrapbook. And this is um, stuff that I'm just kind of putting in a binder, so like leftover stuff. So I have like stickers and stuff in here and then I have this tray that I've just got die cuts kind of sorted out by color to put in here like I said pretty much when I get bored um I need to start filming a video today I'm doing another challenge again this year where I have to do four layouts a month and it's already what's today the 12th yeah I think it's the 12th and I don't have any done and then I think later today and I might go ahead and include it in this video I think I nodded these. Yeah, I'll show I'll show you guys these in a little bit. These are going to be my solution for my Copics and my Zig Clean Color markers. So, but I did want to go ahead and show you. Um, I've got my pile started of stuff that I'm getting rid of, and luckily my local store is doing a garage sale, I believe, in March. So I think I'm gonna try to participate in that. So I went ahead and labeled. Um, some of the drawers that I know are staying. So this one I've got mini inks. And um, right now these are still in the packages that you get when you order them. But I need to go ahead. Ugh, this is another issue I need to deal with. So I need to go ahead and make another one of these. You can buy one and they're only like I think 20 bucks from... I'm going to say, like, organizing more. I, I can't think of the name of it. Oh, too sunny. Um, I made one out of foam board to see how I would like it. And it's okay. It does the job. And because it sits in a drawer, it's fine. Um, I kind of think I'm going to make another two of these for the rest of my mini inks and for um, another, another uh, thing that I'll probably show you guys later. But, yeah, I mean, it's working out pretty good, and it's kind of sturdy. I don't really take it out. Like, when I need inks, I just I come in here and get the colors that I need. But I do like having it like this instead of these. These I just find annoying. So, like I said, I need to make another one because I've got Lawn Fawn and Distress Minis. And then I have a couple Alt, alt News down here, too. So, I need to make another one, and I'm pretty sure that they'll fit side by side and even with one on top if I measured it correctly. But anyways, back to the labels. That's the only one I have labeled on there because that's for sure this, the other drawers just kind of have stuff shoved in them for right now. And then in my big sort of wall of cubes here, I started with the ones that I know are staying. So like here I labeled them with punches and this is just copy paper. I'm not loving it. I yeah, pretty much just did it with copy paper to make sure that this is where stuff was going to be and that I was going to like it. So I think I may um, change up my measurements a tiny bit and print it out on cardstock. Um, so my 6x6 six six paper pads are going to stay. They are just kind of like this in little bags by manufacturer. One day I will make some dividers so that I can actually tell what's what. Um, I went ahead and put embossing folders and pads in here. I don't really ever use them, but I do kind of feel like having them labeled will make me remember that they're here. Uh, this one, I'm not real sure what's going on. Oh, I was looking for this. Okay, I'll get back to that in a second. Um, so down here, I just did large dies and border dies. So again, I hardly ever use this stuff, but I don't want to get rid of it because it is good basic stuff and it fits through the big shot. So this is a giant die. Uh, I'm pretty sure it makes a box. The plates that go with it, the shim that goes with it, the crease pad that goes with it, and then I think this is the only border that I kept because it's just a good basic alphabet, but like I said, I haven't used it in forever because I kind of forget it's here. So I've just got my like bigger pads and some shims, crease pad, embossing pad, extra, what's this, another crease pad, and then what I consider to be large dies. 
So like I have some of these that I've just never gotten rid of because they are really good basics. And then these are those old, oh god, what are these? Spellbinders, I want to say. That years ago I had put in CD cases with magnetic strips. And this actually worked really well. And then this crayon one I have never gotten rid of just because it's a really good basic, especially if you have kids. This on the edge one. And then I have I have a Tim Holtz tab one that I need to find. And then I just have a couple of these that I have kept and decided I'm not ready to purge yet. And then, like I said, oh, see? You can already tell that this is going to be a problem because I just lost my label underneath the drawer. So, <laughs> those aren't going to work. I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to do cardstock and then stick like a glue dot or something behind there. Uh, these are not labeled yet. This one, I did go ahead and kind of rearrange some stuff based on the drawer size because the ones down here are the crop and store cubes. Crop and store, crop and style, whatever. They're bigger. And then these ones up here are Michaels, so they're actually smaller. So, uh, through vinyl and stuff in here. Ooh, these are falling out. Okay. Um, circle cutting system, so like the Creative Memories one. The colossal and then like this border one is in here. Um, these, again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. And then I've got 12 by 12 stickers, chipboard, not sure yet. And then um, 8 by 8 pads, which I need to change this to just say 8 inch pads because basically I've got October afternoon 8 by 8 pads and then some manufacturers are coming out with 6x8 pads, so I'm just going to kind of house them all in here. I don't have that many, so I think that they're going to fit. Can you stop, please? Can you please stop? Okay, come on. Okay, and then I started labeling my shelves and stuff. So UFOs, so these are things that either need um, journaling or they're just half done. Um... Something that I need to sit down and figure out what's missing and go ahead and finish it. Uh, stuff to work on soon. So stuff that I have, um, like this is all stuff that's for a layout for class. Uh, this is a sort of layout in progress. Uh, oh, this, yeah, layout that I need to do in progress. And then scrapbook generation kits that are ready to use. So these are ones that I've already paired the photos made myself a note, put the photos in with the kit, and they're ready to go. Uh, and then I, I made my labels that I know for sure I want to use. I just need to figure out are they going to go in a vertical thing or are they going to come over here on a horizontal. Um, so like kind of like this one, sketches matched with photos. So kind of like a work on next. So basically when I come up here and I'm not sure what I want to work on, I can pull from here. I can pull from here, I can pull from here, kind of depending on what my mood is instead of starting from like absolute scratch type thing. And then I think the only set of drawers that are s sort of like all the way labeled are basically my computer ones. So like this is just like pens, like SD cards, paper clips, um, copy paper, photo paper. Um, labels, so like full sheet labels, that kind of thing, mm, page protectors and dividers, and then I've just been putting cord, like various cords that I keep finding, kind of not sure what they go to, my web camera for the few times that I actually do go live, I'm just kind of keeping anything that's sort of office computer related in this one, and then this one I'm kind of making into like embellishments and I, uh, I know better than to try to label something random but I did label this one random embellishments but it's pretty much things that I'm not ready to get rid of but not things that I necessarily love so like I've got brads um, doodle bug buttons these doodle bug posy things which I don't even know what you're supposed to do with them like big my mind's eye embellishments, just 
just kind of bulky stuff that I don't really reach for, but I, I'm not ready to purge yet. Um, this one is empty. I have plans for that one. This one I'm kind of just doing small stickers, but I still have to go through. So these ones that I used to keep out on my desk. The alphabets, I think I'm going to move to here. Um, this one is dots. I think I'm going to do like enamel dots, buttons, um, maybe wood veneer. And then these are getting moved. So this is how I had my sequins stored. And then basically I stopped buying because I ran out of space. So I got one of these things off of Amazon. And I'm slowly moving my sequins up into here. So I'm going to do sequins and gems in here. So I think that's going to work. And I know most people would probably go through and like label everything at once and organize everything at once. I've learned over the years that that does not work for me. I have to go with what I already know will work for me or kind of just what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, so maybe half of these are labeled. I just did frequent tools. Basically things that I don't want up in here are down in here. So like a tag maker to cut my this, to cut my dies apart, corner rounder, stapler, um, extra blades, this thing that goes with the media mat, rulers, and then like a thicker alphabet lineup thing. Um, adhesive, this has actually been working out really good. I've actually been putting this away when I'm done with it because it has sort of a labeled home. Stamping tools, so I put my blocks in here, some of my black inks. Um, stamp chamois, stamp positioners, embossing gun. And then this one I haven't labeled. These are going to get moved over to that big wall of cubes. I'm just going to put all my trimmers in there. And then this one is still empty too. So basically I've got two spots over here for things that I would use on a regular basis, like every day. And then I've got one more over here that's open that I think I'm going to put small alphabets maybe we'll see so that's where I'm at today like I said I need to go ahead and film the layout and do a couple things and I do have other labels printed they're on that that she's sitting on so I'm hoping that they survive and she doesn't start I'm hoping she doesn't realize that they're here and start messing with them so going to I guess pause my update here and like I said I may go ahead and throw this process ah, into this video and just kind of show you guys what my solution is going to be for my markers.
ahead and share sort of the completed marker storage. I ended up going back and getting more of the drawer units and I don't know if you guys will be able to tell in the sped up version but this is what they are. Um, so stacking organizing drawer. There's the SKU if you need it. I will post a link. Uh, my friend Allison is the one that actually clued me in on these and she managed to find a link online to where you can order a case of 12 of them from Dollar Tree. And then my friend Alyssa was the one that told me about putting uh, the mini binder clips to kind of hold them together and make it a little bit more sturdy. And I have to say I'm absolutely loving this because I was probably a week away from basically making my own um, out of foam board. So I'm really, really liking it. Um, I did have to split my browns. They just wouldn't fit in one. I gave myself two empty spots um just kind of room to grow okay come on some of the other colors that i have are getting a little bit full as well and i do anticipate continuing to collect um more colors and then i needed another one for the zigs so basically i have three by three four five six so i used 18 of them and I want to say I've got probably seven or eight of these like I just went ahead and bought a bunch because the first time I went you could tell that that the shelf you know if the shelf started full it was about half full I went back two days later and they only had maybe like 30 of them and the cashier even mentioned that a lot of people had been coming in t specifically for these. And then on my way out, because I knew my friend Alyssa had mentioned the mini binder clips. I, they didn't have mini binder clips, but they had these assorted sizes. So I bought four because I wasn't sure how many of each one, and it ended up working out perfectly. Basically, in each of these, you get five of the mini which is the size that I used here. So the way it worked out for mine was I have one on each joint. So if you look at the rows, I have one on each joint and then one between just the left and right. I don't have them in the middle. Um, it was sturdy enough for me. So basically I ended up using 20 of the mini ones and then the other sizes that it came with I just went and put with the rest of my office um, supplies and stuff like that. Um, I also found this thing there. It's like this three compartment thing with a lid. I think I bought two just to kind of have because like I said I'm coming across places where I need to figure some solutions out and I bought some um, different like drawer trays and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to end this sort of scrap room update workspace Wednesday type video here. I feel like I've gotten a lot done. I still need to go ahead and redo my labels for my drawers and um, figure out kind of what the next thing I'm going to work on is going to be. So I'll catch you guys in another video.